Hey folks, Trapper Hat Johnny here. So today, what I thought I would do is break out my Savage 64F. So just quickly, the 64 started life as the Cooey 64, then became the Lakefield 64, and now it's the Savage 64. Still manufactured up there in Lakefield, Ontario. It's only a couple of miles from where I live. And I've had this rifle for probably about five years now. Uh, used it quite a bit. The scope is a Tasco 3 to 9 by 32. A good little scope. It's a good little scope. It does what I need it to do. And as you'll notice too, that this rifle is set up for a left-handed shooter such as myself. Okay. And what I'm going to be shooting today is... Remington Golden Bullets, hollow points, okay? Um, they're good, they're okay. I mean, they're just a bulk pack, like any other bulk 22 you're gonna buy. It's the same thing. Now with this rifle though, I did notice, trying to shoot the Winchester white box, the hollow points, a lot of jams. That's because the cavity for the hollow point is so large that it would always jam up on me. Okay. So, now you can't see from here, but I, down there I got uh, a couple of targets set up. Okay, so, here we go. Oh, my last round jammed on me. Oh, that, but that's the nature of bulk 22. That's just something you always have to be aware of and be prepared for. Maybe I can squeeze this one off. Okay, chamber is empty, put that down, okay folks, you want to just hold on a moment and I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, so I just got done shooting the uh, spinning steel targets, got my uh, paper target set up down there. So if you're looking for uh, just a nice little rabbit gun. This will do it for you. Well, really, just about any 22 is going to do the job. And like a lot of people, I love my 22s. There's just something about them. They're fun, you know, a whole bit. And of course, that wind blew down my paper target. So, I guess I'll have to run down there and get that fixed up. But just hang on a sec, folks. I'll Okay, so I just had to run down and get that target set up. Uh, that's the problem with this time of year because the weather's changing and it's just, you know, it's windy, it's not windy, it's back and forth. Uh, it gets a little frustrating. Okay. Good. Yeah. 
I think I gotta scrub out this chamber. gonna have to scrub up the chamber we just try that one that wouldn't wouldn't fire now that one's a dud but that's the nature of bulk ammo okay that's how bulk ammo is and that's just the way it is and you, that's just something you have to accept now of course here in Canada the price of like this stuff here well actually it was the um, the Remington Thunderbolts which aren't really that bad of an ammo they were around $40 and sometimes if you were lucky you get them on sale for 20 bucks for 500 rounds you know what they're going for now say Canadian Tire Walmart places like that almost $90 who the hell's gonna pay $90 but you get what you can get okay so back to the rifle good little rabbit gun good Canadian history behind it um, you can't go wrong you're not gonna go wrong with this it's just how it is another thing too is this rifle uh, super super accurate with 40 grain lead round nose a really good rifle really really good oh. another thing I would also recommend this to anybody who's just starting out uh, get shooting bags for your sight in when you want to zero get shooting bags okay and just as you you seen you just let the rifle cradle itself right in there Okay, that's all you have to do. Let the shooting bag work. Shoulder it. Your other hand comes up and it just wraps on your shoulder, your upper arm and shoulder. So it's just like this. Okay. And that keeps you steady. Certainly much more steady than doing a, a freehand shot like this. Okay. So just like this. Okay. And that's where your shooting bags come in handy. I do have a bipod. Um, I'm not gonna use my bipod because on this table, the bipod, it'll, it'll bounce. You get a bit of a bounce. Uh, that in itself isn't such a big deal. Um, when you're out rabbit hunting, you're never gonna have a perfect shot. It's never gonna happen. There's always gonna be some variable involved. But if you're sighting in, yeah, go with shooting bags. It's the best thing you can do. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Just a quick little demonstration. Good old uh, 64. Okay, folks. This is Trapper Hat Johnny. Wishing you a good day and be good to each other. Bye-bye, folks.